rolling out his muscles. Oh yeah, he's just trying to stay loose. He's trying to recover really fast. He's trying to push that lactic acid out of his quads. Don't you think he should have done an easy 50? I don't think oh, they yeah. would have thrown him out of the meet, but no, there yeah. he is with the towel. That's Grinder, just got out of 50. Yeah. Shaking hands with lane one in the yellow cap there. Okay, the men's 1650, man, now, this, we love it. There's this Eric. This is the race. Eric Knowles, he swam the 50. He's from Dayton Raiders. He's, got, he's, he's there with stretching out in the yellow cap. Okay, yeah, he's, he's certainly, Let's him in the yellow cap there. Justin Grender, Cincinnati Marlins, taking a deep breath. He's like, okay, he didn't even get a heat or two. No. At least a couple of these other guys did. Yeah. But no, no, he's swinging his arms out. Be all right. yeah. those, distance, those distance madmen, they the can blue do anything. Cap, the blue cap from Naval Academy is William Roberts. And there's Trey Freeman. You get the close up. He's got the arena cap on. Baylor Swim Club, Danny Flack. He's the third man from Baylor to go under 420. Wow. In, in, in yeah, really, five, he won the five That really under. says something about how great that And Matthew Hirschberger talking about a great distance guy. Swims for Bruce Gemmel, end cap, right next to him. Timothy Marski, Long Island in lane six. There's their Long Island cap. Colton Paulson, Redbird. You might hear a whistle. You might hear the famous Redbird whistle for lane seven, Colton Paulson. And out there in lane number eight, John Acevedo. He's from the Waukesha Express swim team up in Wisconsin. These guys are now doing the longest race individually. In the pool. In the pool. In the pool, of course. <laughs> but man, Quinn, after a long week like they've had, and then oh, look, three or four course. of them jump up and do the they 50. They got to do it at night on the last night, the mile. Wow. That just shows how important that training is. And I'll bet. There's more than one of them coming back to do a relay here in the Manly Relay oh, tonight. Undoubtedly. And this race, if, it ha if it's going to be anything like that 1,000 was on the first night, it's going to be something special here because well, in the 1,000 we had Hirschberger win with an 855.32. And Trey Freeman, out of Baylor, the 16-year-old, finished second with an 856.30. But you, so know, you yeah. know what was really interesting about that race, Quinn, and if you didn't watch it, Tell us about the last hundred splits, because Hershberger was really even. He was holding it off. And Freeman. Freeman dropped an absolute hammer coming home. I yeah. mean, he was 53, 54 the whole way, coming home in a 51.1. Well, you know, Matthew Hershberger is no stranger. He's been here with NCAP before. He's an outstanding swimmer for Bruce Gemmel. He is taking it out. His first hundred is 50.6 in lane five. That's wow. him in the in the white cap there. On this side of him is Trey Freeman. Shows up as Robert Freeman, but uh, as Danny Flack told us, Trey Call is what Trey. he what he goes by. And I know Dan's told us some incredible training sets that that kid has done. Uh, he's he's really been wow. something Hershberger special. Is not trying to play around in this final. Nope. Nope, I am sure Coach Gemmel said, look, man, if you're going to win this thing. You know this guy's going to finish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, and that's, you know. That's what Trey Freeman is known for. He's known for it. You don't want to be within striking distance with him. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the, the nation's capital team brought 90 athletes. I think 60-plus wow. of them have scored individually. Must be here. fun getting all those flights together. <laughs> and Hershberger's a 27-3. Freeman 27 9. Roberts over there in lane three is a 27 6. You know, I mean, they, they, these guys are getting it. I I think it's got to be, if, 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 I, if I'm Hirschberg, and I know all these guys just swam at 50, I, exactly what he's doing. Let me get away from them. Let me let them think about being tight and let me get out here and race. He's at 212.3 with a 27.2. So every 50, he seems to be putting another five or six tenths between the field and himself. Oh, yeah, and he's doing a phenomenal job at that. He is staying on his own pace, you know. It doesn't look like he's rushed. You know, he's he's looking good. That's a pretty fast pace, though. 27.2 is, you know, puts you at 57 and a half. I mean, 50, 54 and a half. You're under 55 per 100. Yeah. The fastest guys this afternoon, Wyatt Marsalek from Santa Maria Swim Club out in California, 
He finished with a 15-23. Now, he was holding, he had a few 27 eights and nines, but almost all 28-1, 28-3, 28-2, you know, and, and, and finished very strong with a 15-23. Just three-tenths ahead of Brendan Driscoll, Tampa Bay, right down the road. Brendan dropped over 10 seconds to go his time of 15-23. And third fastest from Poseidon was Garrison Johnson, who went 15-27. Yeah, and those are really good times for this morning, but I don't think Hirschberger is going to be behind them. I think he's going to be well under what they went this morning. And he's oh. already off to an unbelievable start, just throwing in another 27-2 like clockwork. He was nine-tenths faster than Freeman, and Freeman's really just, it almost looks like he's biding some time. Now, Dan did say he lifted heavyweights. He lifted heavyweights, you know. He's, he's done he's in training, and he's already gone through an unbelievable week. <laughs> what? What's he race this week? He's what are some, he won the 500, right? He's been under. Won like the I said, he won the he won the 200, didn't he? Yeah, he won the 500. He won the 200. And he's been up. He just swam a great 50 at like 20 points. Five, yeah, 500 <laughs> free. He was 4.189 already. Wow. 200 free. He was 135.9. And so he's having really good. And and now we're looking really at William Roberts from Naval Academy. Williams entered with a 15 19. And yeah, he just took over that second position. You know, he put in a 27 6, and he's right at Hirschberger's splits right now. He's about a tenth behind. But let's see what Matthew turns at the 500 429.29 with a 27 3 8. Roberts 434 2 1 with a 27 7 4. Freeman 27 8. So. Hershberger's still pulling away. Hershberger's still looking very strong. Another 27-3, just a tenth off what he was the other time. He's looking very nice. Well, I guess if you're a 418 guy, your 429 out isn't that killer. Exactly, right? yeah. And I mean, you're 12 seconds, 10, 12 seconds back. And you know, his he is very familiar. As I said, Nations Capital's been to this meet every year for so many years. He has been, you know, two, he won the thousand. I think two years ago he was at least yeah. nine or ten seconds faster. He, he's now he's going off to Stanford. He's going to be back with his old training partner, Katie Ledeck. Oh yeah, who's that? <laughs> now I don't know if the guys <laughs> train with the girls out there, but he goes at 27-3 there. You know, I bet she does train with those guys. I bet they all train <laughs> together, and I I'll, bet those guys hate it too. I'll tell you, pretty impressive last night. Mallory Comerford outsplitting her on the back hundred. Unbelievable. Let's hear it for the young lady from Louisville. Oh. You know, her roommate is Rachel Bradford Feldman. Yeah, and she's having a great week as well. Great Louisville swimmer that she is. And one of your teammates down at St. Andrews. Yeah, she's been having a great <laughs> meet. But Hershberger, 27 1 0, he's getting faster. Yeah, and Hershberger has actually entered in the meet with a 15 19, but his best time is actually a 14 51. Well, I think they have to enter with times done in the last. Exactly. Yes, I was just 12 saying, months yeah. or 16 months or something like that. And you know what? Maybe he's about ready to make a statement today going, OK, you naysayers. Here's wow, my yeah. and the boy so far. Oh, he is. He is. Not, he is going to take this faster. out. Yeah, 27 another, one another one. Oh, boy. 27 seven for Roberts. 27 yep. eight for Freeman. Yep. Roberts is uh, he's got quick legs on those turns. Yeah, he does. He's at Naval Academy. He is he's looking very strong. And, you know, I, I think it's 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 pretty impressive. And I I know what the guys do. You know what Danny Flack was telling us that that Freeman looked forward to the Tennessee high school state meet. And of course up at Ohio State the juniors mm -hmm. you know and he had this meet. He just said he couldn't afford another peak meet. So he let him shave but he made him lift weights last Thursday and. Like see you what said. they can do. He's also going to be at the Grand Prix in Atlanta coming up in, a, in about a month. I think most of these guys probably will pick at least one Grand Prix. And there's guys in the pool right now that are going to represent USA somewhere this summer. And there's 27-4 for Matthew. Still all right. He's staying right with it. 27-7 again for Roberts. Yeah. Freeman is starting to hurt a little bit as those guys start to catch him. Well, you have. Him in third and fourth place out in lane eight. 28 ones is what Acevedo, Acevedo yeah. he's he's swimming pretty tough. And uh, lane six, you know, Marski from Long Island. He's at 28 one. He looks good. Yeah, and a 27 six for Hershberger. 
It'll be interesting to see what their thousand times are compared to what they did in the meet. Yeah, so Hershberger was an 855, Freeman was an 856. You know, when I talked to Bruce Gemmel, Coach Gemmel, he was kind of like, ah, I don't know what Matthew's going to, oh, I don't know. I oh, think yeah. he's like one of one of those coaches that doesn't really want to tell you too much. Of course, you of know? course. I'm sure he used to say the same thing about Katie Ledecky. Oh, I don't know how good she's going to do. <laughs> well, you Smashes know, the world record. You know, Katie holds the, the meat record for the girls here. She came here the first time she came here. And, of course, Bruce wasn't coaching her back then. She had Yuri, and Yuri's out of cover. But she, she didn't do that well that first few events, and then she did okay at the end. For next year, she came here. I think she was like 13, 14. She was crushed it. Blowing everybody away. Crushed it. And I remember watching her thinking, oh, boy, this one's going to be special. 27-6-4. Yeah, this is going to be the last 50 before the 1,000 right here. Okay. See what, check his split right here. Okay. And Roberts was actually 903 for third place in the thousand, but he wants to take second right here. He looks strong. He does, and he's he's secured that second position as of now. But the camera like you can see that. is yep. showing you in the center of the pool. Big lead at the thousand Huge turn. Lead. Matthew Hirschberg. 903 six at the thousand. That is very impressive. That's only eight seconds off of what he was in the thousand earlier in this meet. That's right, boy. He looks good. Second is Roberts. He's 91125. That'll win a lot of thousand dual meets, won't it? That will, yeah. A lot Freeman of third, nine fifteen ninety eight. He's fallen off to twenty eight two. He has. It's going to be tough for him to hold off these guys in uh, lane five and in lane six and eight. You got uh -huh. Marski and Acevedo. They want to take that third position from him. Yeah, there's Danny Flack in the center. You see down in your screen, right oh, by yeah. the USA. If you watch the screen, here's the coaches. The uh, the. The young lady in pink standing next to Dave Ferris, a Long Island coach, the dark blue shirt. Danny wants his guys to go. Okay. You see some of the coaches raising their hands. Gemmel right there, Coach that Gemmel. Is, you see the USA symbol right there. It's going by Coach Jeff King. There's all the. There's Bruce Gemmel with the gray hair. He looks older than me. I used to coach that guy. <laughs> nah, he's younger. Bruce has done it. Um, he's coach of the year four out of the last five years or something like that. Hershberger 27 7. Yeah, he's fallen off of his pace earlier just a little bit, but that's got to be expected. So Roberts is now the fastest 50 in the pool in that last segment. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah, by about a tenth right over Hershberger. Another 27 7 for Hershberger there. See what Roberts is going to be on this flip. 28 0. Yeah, it's I don't think like it's going to be Hershberger for sure. <laughs> I don't see anybody catch him, man. Oh, no way. He's built up such a big lead. Yeah, Look at does. that. He knows what it yeah, takes but Roberts here. is looking like he's going to secure that second position. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt at all. He comes in with a 15-19 entry time. The 17-year-old out of Maryland's Naval Academy. They've got a great water polo program at Naval Academy. Oh, yeah, they do. They have, I'll tell you, one of the one of the programs in the country that believes kids can do both. A lot like St. Andrews, yeah. where you yourself were All-American in high school for yeah, both water polo yeah, I was, I and was. swimming. You know, yeah. somebody's got to push you. <laughs> uh, that was pretty good, Quinn. Not many guys do that. But you weren't All-American in the 1650. Uh, no way. <laughs> Not me. Well, this, I guess you couldn't be in high school. You can't be. It's no. all 500 is the max. No, I get it. I get it. with a 27-9 right there. He's starting to add a little bit. Yeah. Roberts with another 27-9. You know, he outsplit him. Only three 100s, but yep. willing to. He's holding his his own right here. And looking Hirschberg like he's. with a 28-0. He is definitely starting to feel it right now. He is starting to feel this week. Well, you see number 53 going in down there. And there's another 27-9 for yeah. Roberts. Yep, 66 being the magic number, 66 lengths of the pool. Oh, yeah, I bet these guys can't wait to see that. <laughs> they want to see that red for sure, for sure. Lengths as opposed to laps. You know, you do a lap in the track, it's one loop around. You do one loop in the pool, it's two lengths, but is it a lap? You know, I got to say, <laughs> that's why I think we should just stick to calling it 25s, 50s. <laughs> Make it a lot uh, easier. Tell you what. These guys are putting all of it into this. Roberts with a 27-7 against Hershberger's 28-0. There's not enough time to catch him, but 
Roberts he, is really coming home strong. He's looking good right here. See him coming into the screen. He sure is, but this is going to be all Matthew Hirschberger for the gold. He's 28 1. 27 5 for Roberts on that split. Well, yeah, but he's not even in the picture. <laughs> oh, I know. We're, we're, you see Speedo up in the right. They're great supporters yep. of USA Swimming. We've got all the guys from USA back there helping the kids look at their stuff. Big shout out and thanks to USA Swimming oh, for course. doing all the USA video work. Is amazing. You know, the National Club Swimming Association, NCSA, was started by Bob Gillette. And God rest his soul. They did a beautiful, beautiful honor him last night. If you didn't watch the video, you can you can get links to it if you Google Bob Gillette. Yeah, He's check this. Roberts just split it 27-1 on that 50 against Hershberger's 28-0. He outsplit him by a full second on that 50 with six laps to go. Yeah, six lengths. it's not enough, Quinn. It's not enough, but not he is enough. coming home strong. He is coming home stronger, but you got to get out, man. 27-2, 28-1. Yeah, nine-tenths every 50. There's Look only three Look at counter. Left. He knows. He sees him. Yeah. He's like, man. Keep grinding. Well, I shouldn't say that because there was the men's NCAA a couple years ago, and it was our boy from the University of Pennsylvania. That was last year, yeah. What? And nobody, I know Rowdy and the guys Chris didn't Swanson. see. Chris Swanson, yeah. yeah. He was coming from lane Chris one. Chris Swanson out of We're Penn. seeing Roberts from Naval Academy, nine, and so is Hershberger. Yeah. He's seeing him. Oh, yeah. He's not letting him get him. No, no. But There's Roberts, three man, lanes he's left. not giving up here. I hear you. You know he's got a 75 left. You know Matthew is looking a little tired there. He is. He's been hurting Strokes too. Strokes getting short. He but he's got a. He's got look at. Oh yeah. He's got this. Uh oh. 150 Ooh. to go. I don't know. 28-1. 26-9 26 <laughs> on that 50. Man, he wants it bad. Uh, he's going to have a great swim regardless of if he catches him. He is 3.4 wow. seconds behind wow. him. Wow. I think he needs about another 100, 150, oh, yeah. and he could do it. Yeah, maybe in a 5K open water, you know, yeah, a better shot. Yeah, or if it was an 1,800 a yard, maybe. Finish. Here's, here Hirschberger it is. Hirschberger barely making. Matthew Hirschberger, 1506.63. Right. Wow. 10 second drop Jeez. for William Roberts. There's a great shot. 1509, home in a 26 9. 26 9. Wow. 26 3 on Trey Freeman. Trey Freeman, no Finish for with 15 15. Grabs the Knowles, bronze. Lane, lane one, touching fourth, 15-22. That's a three-second drop from the sea time. Nice swim out of the Dayton Raider. Great swims. Yeah, that, that's good. That's good. They're going to be. I tell you, Roberts really had an unbelievable last four or 500. He came home so strong. That was, there's the times from the last heat. So Knowles gets the fourth place. Fifth place is going to go to Wyatt Marsalek from Santa Maria, who went 15-23. And right behind him, Brendan Driscoll. They'll be fifth and sixth in the final 